So this is 18 Boynton Street in Bangor. It's a downtown location, uh, single family home. Uh, that's Ohio Street. And that's Court Street. Court Street goes right down to everything that's right downtown. There is a uh, park over there, starts from over here, goes over, uh, that goes between the two streets, big park. Uh, it's a little unusual because most of the buildings around here are duplexes or quadplexes. Um, that is an elderly over 55 housing unit over there. So a lot of apartments because it's right downtown. Um, this has been rented the last two years by uh, <coughs> a couple. Uh, one of them worked downtown, the other was a grad student. Um, so, uh, older house. Believe it or not, um, this whole area probably um, early 1900s. So the homes are 120, 130 years old, something in that vicinity. So it does have this little uh, like entryway as you come in. Um, there's a kind of cool stairway because it basically they've got um, two smaller bedrooms upstairs. They finished off, I think, what was originally an attic space probably. So as you come in, you've got a living room on this side, kitchen, and then master bedroom over here. Uh, master bedroom's kind of cool because it's got the old style fireplace, which isn't usable, but it's nice aesthetics. Um, area rug uh, over the original wood floors. Um, the house does have vinyl replacement windows. They were done 20 years ago though, so, excuse me, while they're better than wood windows, they're still not perfect. Um, the uh, past tenants have actually put plastic over them sometimes. I don't think this tenant did it all, but um, it does have some nice exposed beams up above. I think absolutely original there, hand-hewed, uh, which is pretty unusual. It does have some built-ins here as well. You can see on that side for shelving or books or curios, whatever. And then it's got a little room on this side. Um, it could be a walk-in closet. Um, the owner is, uh, we've got a maintenance guy that's coming in to do a few turnover things uh, from the tenant being here. And he's going to add a, a shelf, a closing rod over on that side so somebody could have some extra closet shelving. Because right now, it's just basically got the small closet for the master. But that will give that room. And yet, somebody could still put a desk or something in here. I think the last tenant actually had a nursery they used this for. So it worked out really well for that. But um, So, and then the curtains and window coverings that come with it um, are here. Um, it does have a hot air furnace that does the whole thing. It's oil. And that's got a thermostat right there for that. The um, living room is here. Again, it's got those sort of hand-hewed beams up above. Uh, this also has a little tiny closet over here, but a built-in over there. Um, some of the other maintenance things. They're going to do a little touch-up paint uh, in the bathroom. Um, and there's a couple of uh, handles that broke on that, which are going to get fixed. Um, Trying to think what else. Um, kitchen and bathroom were done over about 10 years ago. So they're quite a bit more modern than you typically find in an old house. They added the dishwasher then. Um, stove, uh, it's basic, but same vintage. And then of course, refrigerator. Um, this door is one of the things that's gonna get touched up. It's got like a little uh, utility closet here. The thing is interesting. They ran Cat 5 cable and new electric upstairs there. Um, but it's a place to hang stuff, put your vacuum cleaner, that kind of thing. Um, and then it's got this little addition, which is what most people use for a dining area in a laundry area. Uh, it's got a washer dryer hook up right here. So you can put your hook up right there. And then you still have the rest of the room. Um, some people, I think it was three tenants ago, use this as a mudroom entry. The only problem with that is that that door in the wintertime can be hard to open because we have frost and it moves stuff a little bit and so the door isn't quite square in the wintertime. So I wouldn't consider this a good main entryway. Um, much better to put a dining table there um, or use it for storage or whatever. Um, it does have a high ceiling, which is a little unique perhaps, but uh, this was originally a porch. I think they finished it. Uh, so the house <coughs> has got a foundation under it, and this is insulated all under here, but it just doesn't have a full foundation under it. So, um, Bathroom is in here, and again, this was a little bit more modern. I almost guarantee this had like a cloth tub in it originally. Uh, it has a shower. Um, the tenant had their own um, shower head, which they took with them. So we'll put another shower head back. You're welcome to use another shower if you want. And then we've got a repair along the side there. 
it needs uh, the uh, maintenance guy has already put one coat of mud on it but we've got to fill it in sand it and touch that up again uh, it was a little bit of water damage um, vanity is basic uh, it does have a little medicine cabinet above and then of course toilet so and then we'll go down the basement typical old house basement except the owner did something kind of unique um, they spray foam the whole basement all the walls yeah, that's kind of like hollow um, it's spray foamed and then you have to paint that so they painted it this gray but the whole basement is spray foamed which is kind of cool um, it does get damp like we've got rain right now and the floor it doesn't have water on it but it is damp um, and what we typically tell people if, if you're going to store something down here just make sure it's in totes uh, because uh, cardboard might mildew up or something um, this is sort of the utility side here it's got an oil tank which I don't know if you're Somebody's from local, this is what we have is oil tanks. If you're not local, you might not be as, but they basically fill it from the outside. They don't need to enter the house, etc. cetera. Um, has a hot air furnace. The two tents go left a freezer. I, it's just a freezer. Um, it does work from what they had said. So if a tenant wants to use it, they're welcome to. Uh, if they don't, they can leave it as is. Um, has a electric hot water. And then this space over here is that space um, that's under that washer uh dining room area and um so it's just basic but um that kind of finishes it's just an old basement but because of that spray foam it's a little bit um more economical the, the floors aren't so cold that's the advantage of spray foaming walls it's expensive so a lot of people don't do it but the advantage to doing that spray foam um is that uh, the floors feel a little warmer. So uh, with old houses, that's nice. The only other thing to note is that the, I think it was the past owner actually updated the electric. So it's all circuit breaker panels. There's no like, you know, little round fuses or anything. Um, so everything has breakers. So that's the basement. Um, bathroom. I'm trying to think if I forgot. Oh, upstairs. Um, upstairs has got, oh, let me take a, Pan of view here, living room. Um, with the upstairs, last tenant used one of them for storage and used one of them. Um, they had a little lower ceiling height because they're attic, but basic. They do have a little closet. Actually, I guess it's not too bad size closet, but it's not huge. The uh, floors up here are those original wood and they will get a new coat of paint. Um, and then you step over to this other side. This is the one they use for storage, so it doesn't really have much wear and tear, but, um, and then again, has got a little storage closet there. So they do have the cable, it looks like run up here. So, um, somebody could put an office or something up here if they wanted to, but so that completes 18 Boynton Street. It is neat to have a kind of modest single family where you don't have somebody above you or below you to bother you etc and of course you are literally walking distance to anything downtown which is super nice so 9746606 rentbangor.com